Good afternoon, everybody. It's great to have a packed house here. Um, we, uh, we're here to celebrate some achievements of several of our personnel and, um, and also welcome some new faces to this agency. Um, I do want to recognize a few people. Before we get going, um, this agency's success relies on the relationships we have with the community, um, with our elected officials and with all of our city departments. And we have a lot of people here today um, that I do want to acknowledge. So um, we have uh, Alderwoman Tompkins and Alderman Boom. Uh, you guys want to raise, wait, wait, raise your hands there? I know I saw both of you. Thank you for being here and supporting us. Uh, from our public safety partners, the fire department, we have uh, Chief Washburn, Chief Heyman, and Chief Bickford. Back here, thank you for being here. Up in the front here, we have uh, Pastor Peterson and Father Paul, right here. Two of our chaplains. Uh, in the back, Stacy Erig from uh, Human Resources is back there. Stacy, you might want to wait so people can see you. Thank you. The city administrator, Corey Spiegel, is here. I think last year I pronounced your name wrong, I apologize. This year I did not. Thank you for your support. Scott Hopes here from Parks. <laughs> Mallory Merritt right next to him from City Admin. <laughs> Scott Van Woosteen. Did I pronounce that right, Scott? No, just okay. call me Scott. <laughs> uh, Scott, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Van Heisen, Police Chief of Rock Island Police Department, and Jason Foy, Assistant Police Chief back there, coming to celebrate with us. I know I'm missing, there's, there's probably more out there that I'm missing, I, and I apologize. Uh, but I think uh, having uh, mentioned all of those people, I think you can all realize the incredible support that we have as an agency, and these uh, gentlemen you have sitting before you that we're honoring today, the incredible support that they have as well. Um, one thing I did want to do, uh, since this is the Christmas season, uh, it's just a few days away. Um, um, time to reflect for us. And Hutch, you want to come down here for a second, please? Detective Hutchison. <laughs> you just walk through and walk right back out there. Hutch. <laughs> so. That wasn't on my itiner itinerary, but I couldn't, uh, I, I couldn't resist. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say about that. <laughs> Although I did walk into the detective bureau today, and Hutch gave me a big hug, and he was wearing that outfit, and I'm not, I, I am still perplexed. Uh, he's in the Christmas spirit, nonetheless. Anyway, it's a perfect time to, uh, to celebrate not only the professional success of of these men uh, before you, but also take a minute to reflect on uh, the mission of this police department. Uh, we celebrate a strong relationship and teamwork uh, with both our community, our fellow employees, uh, our elected officials, and all our city departments. And um, I'd like to have uh, both uh, Matt and Paul come up uh, for an invocation. <clears throat> Let's bow our heads. We thank the O oh Lord for this gathering. We thank you, Lord, for each family as they are here to look upon those about to receive honors for their promotion. We ask that thou might keep them, watch over them, and let them go further in their promotion. Give them all the wisdom knowledge, patience, temperance, and care that they need to perform their job well and return safely at the end of their watch. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. As we continue to move forward as a police department, 
striving to provide the best training and equipment, and most importantly, people. People are our foundation. And they're, they're the key to policing uh, with integrity, fairness, competency, and professionalism. We value these core fundamentals and use them daily in developing and maintaining our partnership with the community and our public safety partners. As we move forward, um, I would like to recognize a few people uh, that really forged um, uh, and blazed the trail for this agency of where we are today. Um, you know, you look, at, you look before you, and this is the future right here, and there's a, a lot of people who got us to where we are today. One of the honors I have today is to dedicate this, uh, this training facility, this lecture hall, this auditorium that you're sitting in. It took a lot of work to get this, and um, I think it's important to let everybody know um, that we use this thing um, on a weekly basis for educating and training our officers, and we also open it up um, to other agencies to come in and use this facility uh, to make public safety better uh, for our communities. I have the honor today to uh, dedicate this lecture hall and name the lecture hall the Don Schaefer Auditorium. After 44 years of dedicated and outstanding service to the Davenport Police Department, our community and to the city of Davenport, we're dedicating uh, and naming this state-of-the-art auditorium after retired Chief Don Schaefer. Over his 44-year career, Chief Schaefer was instrumental in many innovations in pub uh, to public safety. I can't begin to name them all. Um, it includes some things such as our crime control, control strategy project, uh, street crimes unit, major case unit, and many, many more uh, things of this agency. As you can imagine, um, uh, a man having been here 44 years, and, and it wasn't uh, just sitting around and waiting for things to happen. It was a, it was a, a dedicated 44 years. Um, uh, one thing I'll tell you about Don is he would never settle for mediocrity. He was always striving and pushing us for excellence. Chief Schaefer always stressed integrity, professionalism, and development of new skills and tactics. The Davenport Police Department is honored to call this uh, uh, building this uh, this room, uh, our training and education for uh, the Don Schaefer Auditorium. Uh, if you would please welcome me, welcome Don uh, to come up and maybe say a word or two. Thank you. And this is truly a great honor. I appreciate this. And I appreciate a heartfelt thank you to all those who made this possible. Uh, hardly a day goes by that I'm not um, asked about in my retirement. And I'm going to say that they all say, Chiefs, of course, he's doing a great job. I think it's really important that the community is, uh, is supporting this department. And uh, Paul, keep up the good work. Okay? I know today we're here to honor those that have recently been uh, uh, recognized, we're recognizing those who recently have been promoted and uh, first and foremost I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. Um, I think it's really important, no doubt about it in my mind, that the future uh, leadership of our department is in great hands. Please uh, serve honorably, um, take care of one another, and be safe. Merry Christmas to everybody. So as we move forward, um, w w I guess one thing I wanted to, wanted to mention was uh, Don was a, a mentor of mine. I've been here for 28 years, and, and the year before I got hired, Don started mentoring me. Um, and we had a discussion uh, within the last couple weeks, uh, our senior command staff did, uh, during interviews of new police officers or potential new police officers, 
uh, we had the opportunity to kind of reflect on uh, mentoring uh, a couple of the uh, candidates talked uh, in depth about mentors and, and what, what they have meant in their lives and how they uh, got them through valleys in their life and, and, and kind of um, helped them along. And, and we, we talked about and we're, we're continuing to discuss how important mentors are, not to just the individuals you see uh, before us, but for all of us and all of our community members and all of our kids, uh, how important they are. Um, so Don, thank you for everything you've done for us. Um, and we're probably going to continue to rely on you for, for uh, questions now and again. So thank you very much. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention too is, and I, and I told you I was going to call you out here, Coach. Um, one of my mentors from high school, Lonnie Wilkinson, is here. Coach Wilk, raise your hand so everybody knows who you are. Uh, coach Wilk was a, a mentor of mine in high school. He was, uh, he was my football coach. He's a teacher. Uh, he was a, a first guy that kind of got me inspired for fitness, too. We, we had a club back in the day called Wilkes White Men, um, and, uh, and, and Coach, uh, it really inspired me, and he was a mentor throughout my, throughout my uh, young, uh, not, I probably didn't make the best decisions all the time, but you helped me through them, Coach. I appreciate that. Thanks for being here. So uh, as we move forward, we're going to get to these guys, because this is, it's, it's really important for, for this, but... Uh, I wanted to also illustrate how we got to this point. So it's important uh, to our agency to recognize where we came from. Um, we have several retirements, um, in, and, and I want to mention those and just let you see how, how much uh, dedication and commitment they provided this agency. Of course, we talked about uh, Chief Schaefer. Chief Schaefer, he offered 44 years of his life, and not just him, but his family did as well. And that's why it's awesome having all of you here, because it's so important to have family involved with uh, our profession. Sergeant Ron Walline retired this uh, within the past year as well. Ron, uh, Ron served for 20 years with us, um, and he, uh, he retired. Uh, his last assignment was in our traffic, um, traffic bureau working with crash, and crash investigation. Sergeant Rich Lindbaum retired. He was an afternoon shift supervisor when he retired. He had 30 years of service. Sergeant Jeff Eslin, 22 years of service. He was an afternoon shift supervisor as well. You can see the trend. We're losing a lot of people who had a lot of experience. <clears throat> Corporal Martin Lopez, 32 years of service with this agency. Um, I believe all of them in the patrol division. Uh, he, he retired uh, working day shift. Corporal Dan Veith, 40 years of service. Uh, Dan worked, uh, he retired out of our patrol division as well. Officer Mike Jacobson, Jake worked for 35 years with us, and he also uh, retired out of our patrol division. Detective Mike Bowers, 39 years of service. Mike retired, uh, retired from our detective bureau. He was also a member of our bomb squad. Officer James Meyerer, 32 years of service. Most of them, if not all of them, in our patrol division retired off the afternoon shift. He was also instrumental in our union. Officer Ron Glover, 32 years of service. Um, he retired out of our patrol division as well. Officer Richard Johnson. Um, Rick retired after 25 years of service. Um, Ten of them in, in the detective bureau. Is that right, Brent? Ten years in our detective bureau, and that's where he retired out. And then, and then Karen Sass. Karen Sass was here for 32 years, and I think all of us have stories about Karen. Karen, her official title was non-confidential secretary. Karen, that's the official title for knowing everything and doing everything for us. And she did. She worked out of our criminal investigation division, both out of the street crimes and our detective bureau. Uh, did phenomenal work for us. Did a lot of the intelligence work for us as well. So as you can see, we, uh, we lost a lot of experience in the past 12 to 18 months. Um, and um, what that, we have to make up for that in experience, but what it also allows is for us to um, have new officers come in. So I'm gonna run down a few of our new officers for you all. Um, Officer Randy Hay. Randy's uh, currently assigned to afternoon shift 
if our internal affairs officer did his job and has all the stuff accurate for me. <laughs> officer Angela Jaron. <laughs> officer Evan Ober. <clears throat> officer Emily Rashi. Officer Benjamin Glazer. Officer Derek Elwood. Officer Joel Griffin. <coughs> and Officer Luke Figge. What's that? Um, yes, Samantha Denny. Thank you. We also have a few uh, brand new volunteers that work for us in our VIPS program. They are Crystal Hager, and Crystal's here. Thank you. Uh, Daniel Murphy, and that's Tim Murphy's dad. Is, he's not here, is he? Is he here? Thank you. Uh, Susan Yoder. Susan's not here. Uh, Derek Cornett. Derek's here. And Christopher Filmer. All right, so... Uh, with all of this movement, we have many promotions to, uh, to, uh, to go through today. And I want to give, give each one of these gentlemen their time because they deserve it and they've earned it. The first one we have is Major Jeff Bladel. Jeff Bladel is a 20-year veteran, 23-year veteran of Davenport Police Department and was promoted on, in June of 2016 to the rank of Major and will serve as the Assistant Police Chief. Bladel is a lifelong resident of Davenport, graduated from North High School. He earned a bachelor's degree uh, in law enforcement justice administration with a minor in management from Western Illinois University, and has subsequently earned his master's uh, science in law enforcement intelligence and analysis from Michigan State University. Major Bladel worked his way through the ranks, has served in all three operational divisions of the police department with his most recent assignment as the patrol division commander. Past experience include community policing as the bureau commander for the crime prevention and nets unit, patrol shift commander, field training officer program coordinator, emergency management coordinator, responsible for police securing or security planning for major city events, uh, which are uh, the BICS, uh, BICS race, RAGBRAI, those kinds of things, and crime analysis, where he's been very active in creating uh, internal data, data management systems and initiating crime analysis projects. Major Bladel has many years of investigative experience which includes serving as a Tactical Operations Bureau Supervisor for the Street Crimes and Gang Investigations Unit, a sworn uh, Special Federal Officer for the FBI's Quad City Federal Gang Task Force and a Gang Unit Investigator with the Special Operations Unit. Major Bladel has over 15 years of service with the Emergency Services Team where he has uh, held a variety of tactical positions and leadership roles as he has been involved with uh, numerous high-risk deployments and has managed several uh, critical incidents. Major Bladel has been recognized with several awards and commendations throughout his career and is a member of the International Association of Chiefs of Police. Prior to his law enforcement career, he served four years of active duty with the United States Army, notably two years with the 82nd Airborne Division Military Police Company on active jump status. He and his wife, Andrea, have two children, Brennan and Kylie, and Andrea is going to be pitting his badge. Jamie Brown. Jamie Brown graduated uh, from Illinois State University with a bachelor's degree in business management. He lives in Davenport with his wife, his wife Christy, and their daughters Bailey, Carly, and Delaney. Captain Brown is a 21-year veteran of the Davenport Police Department. He was hired by the agency in April 1995. 
He spent his first five years of his career in the patrol division where he served as a field training officer and a member of the emergency services team. He spent 12 years with the emergency services team and was utilized as an assistant team leader. In 1999, he was promoted to the rank of corporal while serving in the patrol division. In 2000, he was selected to the Tactical Operations Bureau uh, where he served as a member of the gang unit for six years, conducting gang and narcotics investigations, gathering intelligence, and conducting targeted enforcement. In 2006, he was promoted to the rank of sergeant and transferred back to our patrol division where he served as a supervisor on the night shift. In 2008, Jamie was selected to serve in the criminal investigation division. He spent three years as a supervisor for the property crimes unit responsible for the overall plan, control, and direction of the property crimes investigations. In 2011, he was promoted to the rank of lieutenant. During his five years serving at the rank of lieutenant, he held positions in, in, as the internal affairs commander, traffic commander, and crime prevention bureau commander. In addition to his department assignments, Captain Brown served as a board member for the Union of Professional Police from 2008 to 2011. Captain Brown's performance throughout his career has been recognized with five excellent duty bars, four unit citation bars, 20 year good conduct bar, and the Davenport JC's Young Officer of the Year in 2003, and numerous letters of commendation. Captain Brown has been assigned as the patrol division commander. Jamie? And just for you to come back here. actually an award last time. We had all planned out that he was going to come down, give him the award, we were going to shake hands. I don't know what happened. I had like a brain fart or something. And I started walking away. So we had this uncomfortable uh, uncomfortable moment where we're like this far away shaking hands. Sorry about that. It worked better that time. Thanks for being here, Christy. <laughs> you probably straightened all that out. All right. Lieutenant Gil Prohl. Gil was promoted to lieutenant effective July 31st, 2016. Uh, he's a 21-year veteran of the Davenport Police Department and is currently assigned to the afternoon shift patrol as the shift commander. He's an Alito, Illinois native and a 1990 graduate of Alito High School. Lieutenant Pearl attended Western Illinois University and graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Law Enforcement Administration in 1994. Since joining the Davenport Police Department, Lieutenant Pearl's assignments have included all three patrol shifts, the TNT unit, Quad City Get, or MEG, uh, Vice Unit, Gang Unit, and Detective Bureau. Lieutenant Prohl was also a member of the Emergency Services Team for seven years, retiring with 94 uh, emergency callouts. Lieutenant Prohl has received two excellent duty bars, five unit citation bars, and a 20-year good conduct pin. Lieutenant Prohl also uh, has received the Meg Director's Award for a federal, federal drug case and an award from the U.S. Attorney's Office recognizing his work in an eight-person crack cocaine conspiracy case that was federally prosecuted. Lieutenant Prohl is married uh, to his wife, Annie, and they have two children, Nolan and Lauren. Lieutenant Prohl uh, is the son of Linda Prohl and his, and his father, the late Richard Prohl of Moline. His wife, Annie, will be pinning his badge. Sergeant Jed Heifecker. 
Judd was promoted to the rank of sergeant on uh, October 4th, 2015. He has been employed by the Davenport Police Department for 10 years. Prior to starting with the, the police department, he worked for the Clinton County Sheriff's Office for three and a half years. He attended the 191st basic class of the Iowa Law Enforcement Academy. While at the academy, he won the John P. Stark Award for being the top shooter in the class. Sergeant Heithecker graduated from Iowa State University in 2002 with a bachelor's degree in animal ecology with a criminal justice minor. Even though he attended Iowa State University, he's an avid Iowa Hawkeye fan. Uh, Sergeant Heithecker has earned a 10-year Good Conduct Award, Units uh, Commendation Award, an excellent duty bar, and is a department field training officer. Sergeant Heithecker has spent all 10 years uh, with the police department in the patrol division. Sergeant Heithecker is a member of the Davenport Police Association Executive Board and has been a vice president since 2010. Uh, Jed also served on the union board from 2013 to 2015. During his time off, Sergeant Heithecker enjoys fishing, camping, golfing, and cheering on the Iowa Hawkeyes. Sergeant Heithecker is married to his wife, Andy. They have a daughter, Hayden, and a son, Jack. Sergeant Heithecker is the son of John Heithecker uh, from Grand Mound, Iowa, and Danita Schnack Heithecker from DeWitt, Iowa. Sergeant Heithecker will have his badge pinned by his wife, Andy, and daughter, Hayden. Sergeant Jason Ellerbach. <clears throat> Jason was promoted to sergeant uh, December 6th of 2015. He has been a police officer for 15 years. Bach is a 10-year veteran of the Davenport Police Department and is currently assigned to the Tactical Operations Bureau as the sergeant in street, the street crimes unit supervising that unit. Jason was employed by the Marshalltown Police Department in 2001 and worked there until transferring to the Davenport Police Department in August of 2006. He's worked as a school resources officer at North High School for nine years. He has been a team leader or a team member on the emergency services team for over six years with, with the agency. Sergeant Ellerbach has most recently served 10 months on night shift patrol before taking his current position with the Tactical Operations Bureau. Prior to getting promoted and moving back to patrol, he served almost five years as a street crimes and gang officer. He was in the Crime Prevention and Nets Unit for two years before getting promoted and going back to patrol uh, as a corporal. He is a current, uh, is a current instructor as a le less lethal munition, noise, flash, diversionary devices, OC chemical munitions, and an Alice instructor for the, uh, for the school district. Jason has received an excellent duty bar in 2012, a 10-year good conduct bar and letter of accommodation. He, uh, he recently married on October 1st. Uh, of 2016 to Erica Bean, right over here. Uh, has two sons, Ethan and Brody, and two daughters, Maddie and Tate. Jason uh, is the son of Ken and B. Ellerbach of Holy Cross, Iowa. His wife, Erica, will be pitting his badge. Scott Lansing. Scott was promoted to the rank of sergeant 
in June 2016. He was hired on October 15, 2001, and is a 14-year veteran of the police department, and is currently assigned to night shift patrol. Sergeant Lansing started his career working third shift patrol until he obtained a position in the Tactical Operations Bureau in the Narcotics Unit, which I was there at the same time as Scott. So we have many stories. Uh, while in TOB, he was promoted to corporal, where he continued to work until he transferred to the Criminal Investigation Division. Uh, he has worked uh, primarily in the Sex Crimes Unit uh, while in the Detective Bureau until recently when he was promoted sergeant. Uh, Scott has been a team member of the Emergency Services Team for over 10 years and uh, currently is a team leader on the Emergency Services Team. Scott has received several physical fitness awards, uh, unit citation in 2002, five-year good conduct bar, excellent duty bar, uh, unit citation, and good conduct, good, good conduct bars. How many times you got to write that in here, man? <laughs> he also has several letters of commendation. Uh, Scott has been married to his wife, Tracy, for 14 years, and they have two children, Paige and Brock. Uh, Scott is the son of uh, Donald and Diane Lansing of New Vienna, Iowa, and his wife, Tracy, will be pinning the badge. Nick Shorten. Nick was promoted to sergeant effective in June 2016. Nick is an 11-year veteran of the Davenport Police Department and is currently assigned to the patrol division on night shift. He is a Rock Island native and graduate of Rock Island High School. Sorry guys, you didn't get him. We got the Rock Island chief and assistant chief back there. They're working. They should have got him, but they didn't. Uh, he attended St. Ambrose University and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology in 2000. <clears throat> He served in the, in the United States Army Reserve, assigned to the 339th Military Police Company, where he achieved the rank of Staff Sergeant. While he was with the 339th MP Company, he was deployed twice, first to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba in 2002, and then to Iraq in 2004. Since joining DPD, Nick has served as a negotiator for our emergency services team uh, for over eight years and a team leader for over two years and has done an outstanding job with that. He's been on many operations with Nick on that. He does a great job as a negotiator. His previous assignments have included uh, a NETS officer, field training officer, crime prevention officer. Nick Shorten is a current uh, instructor for verbal def defense and influence, an Alice instructor, and DARE officer. He received excellent duty bars in 2008 and 2013, good conduct bar, and two letters of accommodation. Uh, Nick is married to his wife, Amber. Uh, he has three daughters, Lizzie, Zaya, and Abrana, and his wife, Amber, will be paying his badge. Tim Murphy. Tim was promoted to corporal effective in October of 2015. He's been on the department for eight years and is currently assigned to night shift patrol. He was hired on August 4th, 2008 and attended the 224th class at the Iowa Law Enforcement Academy, finishing third in his class in academics. He spent four years on night shift patrol before moving to the criminal investigation division as a detective, which was where he was assigned at the time of his promotion. Corporal Murphy has attended various training classes 
in investigative techniques, interview, interrogation, and basic SWAT tactics. Uh, Corporal Murphy is on the emergency services team, is a field training officer, he is uh, the quartermaster for the honor guard, and has spent uh, part of his DPD on social, in the social media unit. Uh, Corporal Murphy is also the treasurer of the Davenport Police Association, uh, where he helps to direct the Davenport Police Association uh, historical archives. Corporal Murphy has recently become an instructor in less lethal munitions, chemical agents, and OC spray. During his career, Corporal Murphy has received a five-year good conduct bar, fitness bar, and unit citation bar, and letters of commendation. He was awarded uh, the 2013 Young Civil Servant Award from the Davenport JCs for his work with the community. Corporal Murphy has been married to his wife, Nicole, for 17 years, and they have two sons, Andrew and Alex. Corporal Murphy will have his badge pin by his son, Andrew. He's a six and a half year veteran of the Davenport Police Department. He is a graduate from Davenport Central High School and Blackhawk College. Um, Barry was promoted to the rank of corporal in October of 15. Corporal Piper spent six years in the patrol division, mostly on afternoon shift, working as a field training officer. Barry is currently assigned to the services division, working in the NETS unit. Corporal Piper will be reassigned to the patrol division on afternoon shift, continue his work as a field training officer. Uh, Corporal Pfeiffer, uh, his badge, will be pinned by his wife, Christy. Dan was promoted to corporal in December 2015. He's currently assigned to second ship patrol with his canine partner, Yari. Corporal Angel served four years in the United States Marine Corps prior to becoming a police officer in 2001. Dan is an eight year veteran of the police department. He has served uh, in the NETS unit uh, and the patrol division for four years, selected as a canine handler in 2009 and selected to the emergency, team, or emergency <coughs> services team in 2015. Department awards include the unit citation bar, good conduct bar, physical fitness. Uh, Corporal Handel is married to his wife, Marissa, for 13 years and has two children, Riley and Bryson. Corporal Antle is the son of Danny and Sharon Antle of Davenport. His wife and children will be pinning his badge.
Corporal Jim Quick. Jim was promoted to corporal effective in April 2016. Uh, he's been serving with the department for 10 years and is currently assigned to the afternoon shift patrol. He was born and raised in Davenport and graduated from North High School in 1998. Corporal Quick later received his bachelor's degree in law enforcement and justice administration from Western Illinois University. Jim has spent his career working in patrol, nets, and the traffic safety unit where he is a crash reconstructionist. He also works at uh, Davenport North High School as a school resource officer. Corporal Quick has received his 10-year good conduct bar and letters of accommodation along with two unit citation bars. Jim is married to Jessica and they have two children, Andrew and Adeline. Uh, Jim is the son of Don and Carol Quick and Donna Postal. His wife, Jessica, will be pitting the match. Pete Owen. Pete was promoted to corporal on, in June of 2016. He's been an officer for seven years, all with the Davenport Police Department. He has worked in patrol his entire career and is assigned to afternoon shift. Pete has received his uh, physical fitness award and five-year good conduct bar. He's also uh, a field training officer, training new officers for the department for over a year now. Corporal Owen is married to Stacy uh, and his two children, Auburn and Chase. Uh, his children will be pinning his badge. Craig was promoted to corporal in June 2016. He's a graduate of Iowa State University uh, with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. Uh, Greg is a six-year veteran with the police department and is currently assigned to the night shift patrol. He's worked on uh, both second shift and third shift and was a NETS uh, unit officer. Uh, while on patrol, uh, as an officer, he worked uh, five beat, which is a central city beat. During his time in Nets, he was in charge of uh, the Weed and Seed West Sector area. Uh, Greg helps with the new applicants testing process by proctoring part of the physical uh, selection portion of the process. Uh, he's received unit citation bar, good conduct bar, physical fitness um, uh, during his time with the PD. Uh, he's married to his wife Jessica for four years, uh, two sons, Bradley and Grayson and Greg is the son of Douglas and Roxanne of Davenport. His wife Jessica will be pitting the match. Thank <laughs> you. 
one more round of applause for all these. Guys. I just want to take a quick minute to thank, uh, thank you all for uh, coming this afternoon. Uh, again, it's extremely important to have the support from uh, our families, um, our community, our elected officials, our city staff. Uh, we, we all work together to make this community safer. So thank you all. Congratulations, gentlemen.